Good day, world. <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> what up, world? It's your boy Sky broadcasting live. <laughs> First of the day, as y'all can see, starting off with the, on a on a funny note. <laughs> but you know, like I'm just doing a video. Waking up, you know what I'm saying? A lot of us, we waking up every day with the same worries, the same stresses, the same thoughts, you know? And it's whatever. It's like the thoughts just start to minimize and start to go away little by little. And part of it for me, honestly, and wisdom and knowledge I've gotten from some mentors and coaches is just to be like, in terms of having a twin flame, you got to basically be like, you don't even care anymore like you gotta be like blase about it like if it comes with it cool if it doesn't cool you know i'm still working myself and that's basically what i've adopted because <laughs> man there's been times where i was like <laughs> for real just like for forget a twin flame i'm talking about all the way turned down i'm talking about extreme levels of you know doubt, extreme levels of anger, extreme levels of depression, extreme levels of stress, extreme levels of just trauma and just conflict and drama, you know, to where I was like, what is this, you know what I mean, for real, and then now, honestly, I'm just about my own self, to be real, because I understood, I understand now what I don't want. And that is drama and stressing myself out, chasing, you know, crying, worrying, begging, forcing. All that stuff is not of service to us at all. You heard it here first, so y'all can learn for yourselves. Or hopefully prevent it. Lord willing, you prevent it from happening. But probably if you're real, you will actually go through some real stuff. Because you understand that it ain't no you know, TV show, like it's real life, <laughs> you know what I mean, so, in a way, I guess I'm grateful for showing my true colors, you know, spoke the truth, no matter how ugly it might have sound, but I spoke the truth, you know, and that's that, and, you know, whatever, I'm done with it, you know, Keep, what's meant to be will be, I know I keep saying that, but it's like, y'all understand what a guy be going through, for real, a guy is just getting ignored by people, you know, just feeling like a loose leaf on an island that nobody cares about. But yet, there's people that are having all these people around them, all these friends, all these attention, all this stuff. And then when I do it, it ain't the same. And it's not jealousy or anything either. It's just like <laughs> life purpose, I guess, and like what the intentions are or whatever. I'm, I'm not going to analyze it at all. But it's like my objective right now is not to be like, oh my goodness. I need to have all these friends around me, this and that. No, that's not even the case. Of course, I'm desiring to continue meeting some amazing vegan people. I already have been connecting with people here on Instagram and YouTube that are vegans, but just in real life more so, I'll be grateful for that. You know, I met one vegan brother in real life, and then, you know, it's been a rare crop, a rare breed, you know, a very rare breed, so... It is what it is. I know some people are going to be like, oh, well, why don't you just go and search this and that? I've been doing that, you know? And I don't know. I just, I'm in the healing process. And just through all the drama I've been, all the problems, all the conflict, all the pain I've been throughout my whole entire life, and especially within this last year, basically, after I got into a relationship and it turned out to be extremely toxic all over the place. And like, it's just, it was just gone, you know? Like, out of nowhere, it was gone. After I did an amazing act of kindness, of, of an amazing thing, driving very, very far for the, for the woman. And then, you know, to have a breakup over the phone call in another country, you know, and it's like, whatever, you know what I'm saying, I'm done trying to force and chase, for real, I know it ain't no, nobody else that I need to chase, for real, 
because I get tired of it. I'm done with the game. I'm done chasing. I'm done searching. I'm done begging. All that. Like, accept me for who I am. And that's it. No, I don't need a whole lot. I'm good with just one, honestly. I thought that was good enough, you know? But not everybody can see it that way. So, whatever. I just keep going. Keep going on, man. Keep going on. Because guess what? Money makes the world go around. So, guess what? Gotta figure out a way to make the money. That's all this world cares about. I love money, this and that. But I don't even know how you're supposed to get a whole lot, to be honest. Because... I really don't know, you know, I don't know, I don't know if you're supposed to just start doing what, I don't know what these people, how do people get this money so fast and so quick and so easy, you know, it doesn't settle right with my stomach, you know, but who knows, maybe that's, maybe we do all have to sell out or something, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not here to sell out, I'm here to be myself, you know, I'm here to be myself and to be compensated for it. That's it. I'm not even supposed to be working, to be honest. We not supposed to be working. We here, we good enough just the way we are. Working is just helping. A little ice on top of the cake. Vegan cake. Or whatever. It's just sometimes it be hard waking up for real. So I don't even know how to get through this. You know, like, just being used like a doormat, used like a little a tissue, you know, and just thrown down on the ground, cut off, you know, blocked on everything. It's like, man, <laughs> it's like I got to learn not to have no type of feelings, to be honest, for real. It's like I learned not to have no type of feelings, for real, because nobody care about my feelings. It's very few people that care about our feelings. Very few people. Very few people. And it's the ones closest to us. <laughs> that be like that, too, sometimes. With the exception of some other people, I don't know. But it's just like, I'm just desiring some peace and just respect and closure from all this. All these exes I've ever had that just walked out of the life. No explanation. No closure, no apologies, no sorries, no, you know, helping out, you know, no, agree, no, you know, sticking to the word about helping out, whatever, none of that, you know, they lied, I love you, ha, we're friends, it's that, no, you, no, we're not, how is that so when I'm blocked off of everything, when you run away thousands of miles or however many miles, wherever you at, it gets old, so, I don't even know what to say. I know I'm done chasing. I know that's the damn shit. Because everybody walking too damn fast out in these streets. Real talk. Girls walking, running from the car into the house. I see this stuff with my own eyes. These girls literally will park their car and will be sprinting inside their house with sandals or without shoes at all. And I'll be like, what is going through their head? What are they running for? What are they running for? They just fulfill for us, to be honest. I don't have it all figured out. I don't know everything. It's just like, man, what am I supposed to do? That's what I'm saying. What am I supposed to do? Real talk. All I want, all I desire was just some simple stuff. I start, I'm already overcoming my lower nature, my animal nature. I'm being abstinent. You know, and I'm feeling better about myself, honestly, you know, because it's respect. I'm doing it for my, I've made this choice for myself, you know. And yeah, I don't care what people, he, he, ha, 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 start laughing, this and that. Hey, we all going through something. Don't act like you perfect and like you never had any problems or addictions or whatever. Everybody got something. And for damn sure, most men, most guys, do are stuck in a lustful nature, you know, and I'm, I'm overcoming all of that, for real, by continuing being abstinent, you know, it helps me feel at ease, at peace with myself, you know, for real, because it actually is, you know what I mean, I'm actually just at peace with myself, becoming more peaceful, I stopped eating meat, 
you know, two years ago, I stopped eating animals, all animal products over two years ago. So, you know, I've been feeling better. Y'all can see it in my physicality, you know. I'm improved. It's just, man, we got to be so patient. And it's like, life ain't even what it, what we thought it was supposed to be. You know, this whole time we were thinking, or I was thinking, like, oh, wow, dreams really do come true, this and that. You know, I'm going back and forth in the water. So I'm like, okay, guess what? I'm not about to do these jobs. I've had all these jobs, like an abundance of jobs, and they all ended the same way. The same way of me feeling like a slave, the same way of me feeling lost and confused, the same way of me being, you know, financially insecure with these jobs, working for somebody else. So that's why I've left a long time ago to have our own business own businesses and do some freelance independent work, you know, and that's what I've been doing since then, and, you know, it's like, I still don't know what the magic cookie code is, like, I really don't know, like, and I'm talking about consistently, I'm not talking about no, no, hit it quick fix thing or whatever, I'm talking about stuff where, you know, it's passive income, you know, and it's like, it ain't good enough for the people, it ain't good enough for nobody, except for myself, for real, over and over again, and I don't know what to do, deep down, it's the same sky, keep going forward, keep on pushing on, you know, because I've already given up before, and I already learned what happened when I gave up. You know what I mean? But it's like, whatever. I just got to keep going on. All I desire was just some simple stuff. That's it. That's literally it. I thought I wanted all these people around me, all this attention, all these women, all this and that. But no, to be honest, all I desire is the most simplest form of, the deepest form of love with the woman who knows, you know, a lot about me. And can, you know, you know, of course, not more than my mom, but like, you know, up there. And we all have one of those people, a partner in our life who's really, you know, touched us and seen us in all sorts of emotions and feelings. And heard a lot about, or knows a lot about us because we've opened up to them, you know, and like, there's just be so many unexplainable things in my life, and it's like hard to let it go, it's hard to let it out, it's hard to move on, it's hard to process it, it's hard to gain peace from it, because it's like, you just feel completely disconnected, you feel completely taken advantage of, you feel completely used, you feel completely just treated terribly, and it's not cool at all. It's your boy Sky. Broadcast live.